So I used some of this JB Extreme Heat uh, putty. What kind of scares me on this is it doesn't actually say the strength of it. Like most of the stuff is like 2600 PSI or whatever. Uh, I had a cr crack right here in the block. Uh, real small. I welded it with some uh, stainless rod and it cracked again. So I just need to get something over it to hold water. So I cleaned it all up. I cleaned it with acetone. I peened it. I cleaned it again. And then I wire brushed it and then I acetoned it again. So just best case scenario for this stuff to stick. Um, so it's been a little over 24 hours. Uh, I had a heater on this just to kind of keep it warm. It was only like maybe 80 degrees, but it's kind of cool down here in Texas. I know that doesn't, people don't say that very often. So I've got this connected to the radiator. Uh, for some people that don't know, this is a Case 350 Focus. Uh, it's a crawler loader. Uh, we got the bucket up there. Surprisingly, the hydraulics don't leak until I get under it. So I'm gonna set this regulator, come on, there you go, to about 10 PSI. So, as you can see, we're about 15. I mean, that gauge is not trustworthy. Now we're gonna leak test it. Focus, goddammit. So it instantly blew this out. And this is just crumbling, looking at it. Like, some of it's hard. I can't get my fingernail in it. But this stuff is garbage. Whoa! Yep. Yeah, I'm just crumbling it, just picking it off. So, I went to Advanced Auto Parts and I bought some actual JB Marine Well, which I've used before and it works really good. So, if you ever have to fix something, don't use this. It's complete garbage. I'll show you what the inside looks like. Oh, great cap on. Let me open it. It's not even like a two-part system. I'm gonna turn my lamp down here. It's just kind of this uh, putty-looking stuff that's already mixed. So, like, that's the only thing that really scared me once I first got this open, and I was reading the uh, the directions. Is it said uh, organic? And I was like, oh great. And it has. Man, you don't want to fuck us, do you? Silicic acid, sodium salt, and steel fines. This doesn't sound very dangerous. And if I've learned anything over the years, is the more skull and, skull and cost bones and danger warning and this product in California will kill you, that's the best stuff you can buy. And this isn't it. Now I've got to fucking redo all this. i got to tear all this out and reclean it and then put actual good JB Weld on it. Oh yeah, let me elaborate on that. Uh, I was going to Advanced Auto Parts to pick up some JB Weld earlier. Um, and I told him I'd use this stuff, and he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately with that tone of voice, you can kind of see where this is going. Uh, he said he also used the same stuff and had the same problem. It just doesn't work, so they quit carrying it like four years ago. But I bought this stuff from O'Reilly's, and I was like, well, shit, you know, they've got it. And I was really worried about the consistency. I wanted it to be kind of thick, but I didn't want to use the putty stuff because I was afraid that it wouldn't stick or that JB stick stuff that you kind of like mush together because uh, JB Weld's a little thin and I figured it would just run down the block but shit apparently that's better than this if I'd known this was going to do this I would have just mixed up some clay and stuck it on there it would be a lot easier to get off well now you know